Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to my first video ever. This is, I am, sorry, I am Hobo, and this is my new channel, Hobo's Game Center. And today, we're going to be playing Mountain Blade Warband. Let's start a new game here, let's see. Alright. So... If any of you haven't played this game before, it's like really fun. It's one of my favorite games. And playing this, I'll just like tell you about different things that you can do um, playing the game. And right now I'm choosing my character and I'm going to be... or Okay, so it's you were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was, and I'm going to choose a traveling merchant. And then talks about... Uh, what how, like how you spend your early life doing something and i'm gonna go with uh craftsman apprentice and then what you did later in life and i'm gonna do university student and then all that i'm gonna go personal revenge and let's do that realistic no quitting without saving all right and my name's gonna be hobo Let's go. All right, let's put a little bit in agility, strength, and charisma. And then I'm going to add some to persuasion. Persuasion. Uh, let's go with engineer. Spotting, because that, help, that helps you see like things from... A distance pathfinding speeds up a little bit speeds you up and uh let's go with looting so then i can get more things from people that i beat i'm gonna go with one-handed weapon and archery done all right and let's see i don't really i don't really want to deal with all this so i'm just gonna randomize till i find a good character uh, that's good. I like that one. Um, and I'm, then I'm going to start in Serenit Sultanate because I don't like the other places, really. Alright. Here we go. Where are you at? There you are. Bam. Alright, let's see. That's not going to work, so, ha! Got him. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, so the way this game works is you can play as like your character and um, over time you can build up an army and like do big wars and stuff and take over castles and become like a, a vassal of different kings and stuff. It's real cool. That's why it's one of my favorite games. So right now I'm just getting a quest to collect some people. For this guy and i'm gonna hit this and we're gonna go see here we go this is like the map it's huge there's a lot of there's a lot of things all over the place and we're gonna go back to shiriz and go over here to hawaha and while we're there we're gonna recruit some volunteers and we're gonna go back to shiriz and then let's see we're gonna go we're gonna visit the tavern and we're gonna talk to the okay, very well i shall hunt for bandits and then we'll do that we'll do that later though because i'm gonna join this tournament and it's gonna be great i'm not the the best fighter in this game but i have some skills because i've played it quite a bit so We'll see how good I do. I, I probably won't win this tournament though, because starting off character is pretty crappy, and then and I get this bad weapon after all, because I hate throwing weapons. Oh gosh, there's too many people here. There we go. They had to give me the throwing spears as my first weapon. Nice. 
All right, let's go here. Throw some spears. Dang it! No. Okay, I'm done with this. I hate the throwing spear. I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up the sword if I can. There we go. There we go. That's what I want to see. All right. Let's go. Hit him. Freaking hit him with the sword, man. Ooh, red guy over here. Let's take him out. Oh, oh, junk. There we go. No, uh, hit you. Oh, man. Okay. There we go. Stupid couch lances. I hate them so much. They're, they're so hard to use, but like when he's on the ground like this, he can't really damage me at all. All right. One first round. I'm going to fight in the next round. Come on, give me a sword. Dang it. Freaking throwing spears, man. They start me off with the throwing spears every time. I hate this. But I'm going to try to win again because, you know, if I win, I get some renown and all that stuff. And then I can become vassals to the lords of this game. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do for this playthrough. I'm going to become a vassal of the lords and I'm not going to, like, build my own country. Because you can do that. You can take over the castles on your own and become your own king and rule your own lands and stuff. But I'm going to just, I'm going to join probably the Serenid Sultanate and I'm just going to join them in battles and take over castles and the Lord's going to give me some places and it's going to be real cool. But for now, I got to build up my renown by getting an army, fighting bandits, doing all that. Cause otherwise he won't allow me to join him in his uh, group if I don't, if I can't. Ah, oh, junk. Dang it. I was trying to pick up that sword, but I was, didn't work out too well. Oh, cool. I can fight in the next round anyway. Let's do it. All right. Stupid. All right. Glad I got a sword this time, but now I don't have a shield. This is annoying. Of course, I don't use a shield when I'm on a horse anyway. Oh, uh, golly. Man, do I hate this. Using, like, like, fighting people off of other swords or off of other horses is, like, really hard. And it's kind of annoying. So I don't like doing it. But when you're in tournaments like this, you kind of have to. But, like, you can come up behind somebody and do that. And then you just destroy them. Then I can do that. All right, good job, boy, veteran fighter. Uh, two teams with three fighters each. Fight in the next round. Oh yeah, this this thing's okay, but it's not the best. If you can get some couch lance damage, it does a lot of damage, but it's really hard to like hit them the the way you want to. And you're also always afraid that you're gonna like hit your own teammate, and it's just not fun sometimes. But you just gotta you gotta get that speed up, drop the lance down, and then aim, and then get the couch lance damage. It does so much damage, but it's just annoying to use. All right, two teams, two fighters each, fighting the next round. Let's go, boys! Hit him hard. Oh, chunk! Stupid horse slowing me down. I'm going to fight this guy while my friend's fighting that other guy over there. I don't know. The main thing I'm trying to do right now is kill his horse. But if I have to, I can I can just hit him off the, off the horse. There we go. Now let's get this other guy over here. Because my friend doesn't seem like he's doing that good of a job, honestly. Oh, it's because he's got the lance. That makes sense. Come on. Hit him. Uh, 
Oh yeah, the way the game mechanics work in this game is like the way you move your mouse and like move your body is the way you like strike with your sword. So because of that, oh junk! I didn't get time to build up my to to maneuver my lance. I need to get behind him so I can strike him with my lance. Because if I slow down and then it comes up like that and then. And he's not distracted, so I can't, like, get him anywhere. Yeah, this is annoying. I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose this round. Because I can't do this. It's the last round, too. That's an I hate it when this happens. Oh, gosh. All right, come on. Come on. Strike him. There we go. Hit him in the face. You hit him in the face, you can do some damage. Do some. Oh my gosh, it's got that sword too. Now, if he had a lance, it'd be so much easier. But they gave him a sword when they gave me one of these stupid lances. Can't do anything with it. Maybe if I hit his horse. Effective. Come on, I gotta kill the horse. That's that's what I gotta do. Because he just follows me, and I can't do anything about it. So, like, I'm trying to, like, turn around again. But, like, doing sharp turns, you got to slow down with the horse. But if I slow down, the lance is going to pop back up. So if I can, if I can like, catch him in, like, some sort of curb. There we go. Okay, let's see if I can. Oh, uh, dang it. Okay, I'm definitely not going to beat him. I can't do it. Ugh. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to beat him. This is annoying. This is annoying. Oh, that's that's really annoying right there. Alright, there we go. Maybe I can... Maybe I'll be able to beat him, actually. Because if, if I can get some damage from down here... Oh man, I have no health left at all. Let's see. Let's get some. Nope, can't do that. Let's get some. Just kind of. There we go. That's that's nice. Haha. <laughs> I have more reach than he does, which means I can get more damage. Oh, I might be able to win this. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, yes. I was not expecting to win that. Cool. All right. I got 200 dinars and I got 20 renown. So now I got a little bit of renown. I can, I'm getting famous. No, wait. I don't want to wait. Oh, I advanced to level two. Let's level up my charisma so I can build up my army and stuff. Now that I got my, my trade up, things like that. Just raise all of those. Um, where are those? There they are. Band of robbers. I gotta do. I gotta kill them for the quest that I'm working on right now. No, but I brought steel. Charge the enemy. Yeah. So this is like the war scene. You have like your army, and then you charge to the other side for like the bad guy's army. I guess the opposite. The people you're going to war against. This army. Gotta like find them on the map though. Let's like see where they are. Oh, I'm facing them directly. I just can't see them because they're behind all these trees over here. That's annoying. Oh, nope, they're not. They're right here. Let's go. Ah, oh, junk. Alright, got one. Two. Three. When there's only like this many people, like I'm fighting four people, I don't like waiting on my army, so I go in there on my own and just dominate because it's a lot more fun that way. And I get a good a, a lot of experience from it because otherwise I just get experience from the battle and not from like killing people. All right.
Let's see. Yep, yeah, that's better than what I have. Oh, plus one trainer while in inventory. That's that's a cool book. That's a cool book to start with. All right, let's see here. One-handed hatchet, 23. No, I don't. Okay, um, let's see here. These better legs. Nope. It's a hat that has a little bit of thing, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to grab all of it anyway because um, I can sell it for a little bit of money. All right, where's that bandit slayer? Okay, I'm going to go to an Asuadai and recruit some more volunteers, build up my army a little bit, and then go to the kidnapper's hideout. Attack the hideout. All right, let's go. And my crossbow, and then with their shields and stuff. Let's go, boys. It's always fun to, to do some warring right now. Where is everybody? And there ain't nobody here. Oh, they're all over there. Okay. I'll go this way. Some people are going to come out of this cave too, but I wonder if I can hit one of them from here. That's... Nope. Okay, I need a little bit of lift on that. If I can get it from like up there. I'm just going to run through the water. No. Because once they start killing people, some people are going to spawn over here. And I get my own chance to destroy some people. Or not? Come on. Where is everybody? Y'all need to hurry up and start killing people so I can kill some people over here. Oh my gosh. They killed one of my recruits. Dang it. Quit killing my people, man. I'm just trying to rescue this kid, this merchant's like brother. They're out here all killing my my people. Oh, there's the merchant's brother. Let's go. We're about to be done. All right, leaders fall one by one. All right. Yeah, I want one of these falcons. I'll put that there, though, and then have the crossbow as my secondary weapon because I don't want to. Gotta get the shield. Um, those boots are definitely better. Okay. Right. Wait. Yeah, no, I like that. Oh, it looks better anyway. I'll buy some better armor and stuff later when I have money. But right now I only have 570. And if you've ever played this game before, you know that 570 is not going to get you anything. Let's upgrade some of my soldiers. Uh, go to the marketplace. Let's sell these things that I don't need. My trade skill is not very high. And these things aren't worth much anyway, so I'm not getting very much money off of it. Wish it was, though. 150 denaires, that's good. I'll buy some bread. You'll receive six denaires. Cool. Is it the tavern? Where are you? There you are. Merchant of Shiriz. Okay. Alright, I'll lead your men. Yes, give them the sign. All right. It's time, time, lads. Up and at them. All right. So I'm fighting some looters in this town because I guess they don't know how to keep looters out, and there's a bunch of them invaded. It's annoying. This whole like little pre pre game questing that they give you is just kind of boring because it's always the same and you never never do anything different so you just gotta you do some, you try to do some stuff but it, it's never really that fun you can get like I guess 
You don't really get much renown from it, though, so it's not even really worth it. Come here, looter. Oh, no, this, oh, I knew it. He was going to kill him. These Serenade horsemen are too good. Hey, boy, don't kill him. He's my friend. There we go. Oh, my gosh, he killed him, too. I want to kill some people. Let's go. There we go. I'm killing some now. That's cool. Uh, all right. Come here. Come here. Oh, junk. It's not enough damage. Stupid. Come here. Come here. Mmm. Uh. Alright, there we go. But he broke my shield. Okay, good, the battle was over anyway. Doesn't matter. Okay. Well, done with that now. Now I just gotta build up my army and fight bandits and stuff. Because that's what you do in this game. You do that until you can join in on people swores and fight with them actually I'm gonna visit the tavern real quick see if there's any people I can hire let's see I don't want any mercenary swordsmen they're too they're too expensive but I want to see because there's usually like like separate people that are kind of like another character that you can have but they're like they're called companions, but I ba like basically you can level them up the way you level your character up and not like the way you level up the volunteers and stuff. So, it's kind of fun. Here we go. Oh, look, my shield's going through my horse. That's cool. Where are the looters at? Where are these looters? Oh, there they are. Okay. Aha. Y'all are all about to die. Wrecked. Wrecked. Oh, junk. I missed him. Oh, junk. This fighting thing's a little bit hard to control sometimes, but, you know, you get the hang of it over, over time, but even then it's still just annoying to deal with all my ho my horse is taking all the damage so I'm probably gonna lose that before I lose myself yeah because if you do like you can choose to like fight in the war like this but you can also choose to like just send in your people alone but for some reason the, the like the skills of your soldiers are not as good when you're not like in the battle yourself because I'll I'll go into a battle with like 100 v 100 and I'll win like without losing like one person but if I like had sent the soldiers in alone I would lose like 20 people compared to like losing none and it's really annoying so like you always want to go into the battle on your own but if you die in the battle then you have to continue the battle like without them or without you, so it's like it's a little annoying, but you gotta deal with it. Let's, let's just take everything here, get some money if I sell all this. All right, let's go to the party. I oh, know, see, I leveled up again, so I can give me some. If you level up intelligent, you get. To intelligence, you get more than a couple skill points, so it's kind of it's kind of cool. But I'm going to level up agility and get uh, iron flesh because that increases my health a little bit. Um, let's go with one-handed weapons. I'm gonna go with archery because I want to get a bow and not a crossbow. I like regular bows better. But let's go this way. Group volunteers. Nobody wants to join me. That's junk. Okay, 60 people. Or, I mean, 6 people, not 60. Each person costs 10, so then... And then let's go to Dura Cuba. See if there's any of those people who want to 
like fight with me. Oh, is that for no? That's Katrin. Dang it. Uh, I kind of want to get both of them. I'm gonna get Katrin and Clathy. All right, there we go. That's cool. Now I have those two extra people. Except I need because they don't. They never start out with good armor. So like, you get these two people in here. Uh. No, I'd rather... Okay, sorry. Let me see your equipment. You see it's plus 12, plus 7. So I'm going to give her this plus 22. Plus 3. Let's go with the plus 14. And what kind of weapon you got? You got a Falcon? Okay, you're actually doing pretty good there. Let me see about your skills. What do you... Oh. Is she a warrior of some sort? Not really. She's a lot of inventory management. That's kind of weird. Doesn't help me at all because it's not a party skill. Okay. Um, never mind. Let's go, Clethy. Talk. Let me see your equipment. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's even worse. Here, I'll give you this one. And okay, and you already got those. I don't like using you using throwing knives, except that you can't use a sword. So let's give you a club. There we go. I'm, and I'm going to get them both shields as well, so they can defend themselves. Um, let me see your skills. Do you have archery skills? Do you have any? No. Do you have any? You don't have any archery skills. Dang it. She's got throwing skills, though. I don't, maybe I should get rid of the throwing knives. I'll give them to her as her secondary weapon. What is the dagger one hand? Okay. Um... But she can like switch between those then later. Never mind. So this case so she's good at tracking. She's good at first aid and wound treatment. Then I got everything else. Alright, I'm gonna move them up in line so they're gonna so they can be under me, because I like having them as like I guess like not like leaders, but I don't I don't know how you how you would say them say what they are. All right. Well, I'm starting to run low on time. I should probably end this video here in a little bit. I'm just going to collect some more people real quick, and then I'll end the video. Nope. Okay. Volunteers. Okay, that's that's a lot of people actually. See, I have 41 renown, so I could probably actually become a mercenary of the kingdom of Serenid Sultanate. Let's see. I am Hobo at your service, sir. Um, do you have any tasks for me? He murdered one of my men and has been sent. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that and then. This is the last thing I'm going to do today. I'm going to finish this. And then I'm just going to uh, like go back to him, finish the quest, and then... And then in this video, I'll recruit the volunteers. No, wait. Okay. Go to the village center. Oh, it's nighttime, isn't it? Nope, it's daytime. Well, not really, because nobody's out. People got to be walking around. That's annoying. I hate it when that happens. Uh, there we go. Go to the village center. Who's here? Who is? I need to find a person who is standing kind of behind a building or something, away from the rest of the people. And it says he's a nervous man. Because that's usually what it's... That's that's always the time what it says. But it's, it's it's usually just some guy who's just kind of standing by himself off, like, way far away from everybody. I don't know. One time I found one, like, in the horse stables. And that was really weird. But I don't know. Maybe there's... Maybe he's in here? No. It's, I'm pretty sure this is the right place, right? Uh, so let's see Q. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm at the right place. Okay, well, there's, nope, there he is. I found him. Coo, coo, coo. Let's get on my horse. I'm going to talk to you, nervous man. Yeah, no problem. No, okay. I'm, I come not for money, but to execute the law. Die, dog. Dang it. You always do this. Are you going to fight me or what? No, okay, I'll just hit you first. Ha, joke's on you, dude. I am a lot better at fighting than you are. Well, not when you break my shield like that. There we go. All right, finish the quest. Now I gotta go find, uh, is it was some Emir Quarries? Yeah, Quarry, Quarry Oz. Let's see, maybe he's at this castle. Nope. He might be at Cheriz. Oh, let's see, is it one? Ah, there he is. Okay. About that task you gave me, I found a punishment. Let me take the money, sir. Thank you. I must beg my leave. All right. Well, now that I've done that quest, I am going to end the video right here. Thank you for watching my first video ever and the first of this series. It's going to be a real fun series, and I hope you all enjoy. Thanks.